This video shows how to perform Monte Carlo analysis in Cadence Virtuoso. For the analysis, I have considered a simple CMOS inverter with a load 1 femtofarad. Transient analysis is used with a pulse source Voltage 1, 0 volt, 1.2 as second voltage. Period of the pulse is 200 picoseconds. Delay time is 50 picoseconds. Rise time 10 picoseconds. Fall time 10 picoseconds. Pulse width is of 90 picoseconds. Check and save the design. Go to the launch and click on ADL. I have already loaded the analysis. Transient analysis is performed with a stop time of 400 picoseconds. Selected moderate or liberal. Click OK. Selected the input and output to be plotted. Click on Netlist and run. So, this is the output of a simple CMOS inverter where the input is falling and output is falling, input is in a rising and this is the 50 picosecond which we have provided the delay. Now I want to perform the Monte Carlo analysis of this. For that, close the EDL window or you can save the state. If you want, you can save the state. Close this. Go to the launch. Click on ADE Excel. Select Create new view. Click OK. It opens the view as ADE Excel. Click OK. Now the view is ADE Excel type. In the data view on the left, click on the text. Select the file which you want to perform the Monte Carlo. I have already named it as Monte. Click on OK. Even you have the ADL test editor here. In the setup, you can see that model libraries is having the MC. MC stands for Monte Carlo. That means the GPDK45 is having Monte Carlo. So select this. So there are other corners. But right now we are performing the Monte Carlo. So use MC. Click OK. Once this is loaded. This is the circuit and this is the ADEL. From ADEL you can directly right click and perform the transient analysis or load the previous state. Right click, choose from the design what you want to plot, V in and V out. Click OK. Now you have the input and output to be plotted. Just click on run. It is a nominal simulation here. It is not performing any Monte Carlo right now. Observe the output waveforms. The same as we have got earlier. But I want to perform the Monte Carlo for rise time and fall time. For that, Go to the calculator.
click on VT. Select the output. We have V out here. From the function panel, select delay. Select the delay. We have output in the similar manner. Let me copy this, paste it, and provide this as in. The threshold voltage is half of it. So I have provided 1.2 means it is 0 0.6. Since the output is in a falling, keep the input as a rising, output as a falling. Click OK. An expression is loaded in this. You click on this to appear in the EDE Excel. In the output setup, you can see the expression. You can directly double click on it to change the name. TPDF. That means output is in the falling mode. A similar calculation. Again, you can clear. You can directly off, then click on voltage transient, select the output, delay, change the input, first signal to V in. Earlier we used the rising, this time you can click on falling and this as rising. Click OK. Here you can click on send buffer expression to ADE Excel. Once this is done, close the calculator. This is the TPDR for rising. You can add further expressions by right click, add expression. I call this as TPD. propagation delay and it is a average of TPDF plus TPDR by 2. Now once this is done click on run simulation. Still it is a normal simulation itself. It has finished the simulation. Go to the outputs. Results. You can see that it is fall time is around 12.72 pico and rise time is for 17.27 pico and total propagation delay is average is 15 pico. Now I want to perform the Monte Carlo analysis on this. To perform that, go to the tab and select Monte Carlo. Then click on the simulation options near to it. You can choose different types of sampling methods. Right now, I am using only the random. The number of points used for Monte Carlo is around 200. If you want, you can increase the numbers. Click on Save Mismatch Data. Click OK. Once this is done, just run simulation. On the left hand side, you can see there are 0 to 200 Monte Carlo simulations. You can see this Monte Carlo 0 running for 0 to 200.
see that the simulation is performed for 2L and you can see what are the changes that are happening. It gives me the yield, minimum value, maximum value, mean and standard deviation. By performing the Monte Carlo analysis, you can get the mean value, minimum value, maximum value, mean and standard deviation. Still, it is performing the simulation. Approximately the minimum value is 11 pico seconds. Based on the number of sample points you have taken, it takes time. What is the Monte Carlo analysis performing means? You can find minimum, maximum, mean, standard deviations. You can see that it is around 178. See, it has finished the Monte Carlo analysis and the minimum value is for fall time is 10.8 pico and for rise time is 14.87 and these are the maximum values. If you want to see that, click on plot all waveforms. This gives the distribution of rise time, fall time and the delay. So this is a general distribution and they are evenly distributed. Graph properties. So you can change all these properties based on the convenience. So for each picosecond, it is giving me the distribution of this. If you want, you can plot the individuals also. In this way, you can evaluate the Monte Carlo analysis for fall time, rise time and delay.